There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. Okay. The place that made these refused to make them for me. Oh, really? What? Yes. What? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Let me explain. Let me explain. <laughs> Go on. They said that their, their ovens had gone down, all kinds of stuff, but folks went and got them anyway, which is why I'm not telling you who made them. But it's, I, it's not campy because I'm a woman, but perhaps Come they on. did not like my politics. Yeah. And I know how hard my family has worked to keep this business alive. My bakers come in two or three in the morning just to have donuts and rolls for everybody to come in and say, we have the best rolls ever. This is what makes Holtemans Holtemans. It's the community. So if you haven't heard the story by now, Whoopi Goldberg, as you can see there, learning the hard way that going after a Staten Island institution can be a recipe for controversy. Thousands of customers lined up outside Halterman's Bakery to show their support after The View co-host accused that bakery of political discrimination. Community leaders calling on her to apologize, but instead, here's the update. She appears to double down in this new video. All right, before we go introduce a uh, new video, I mean, I, I don't get it. Whoopi Goldberg is not an average celebrity. She is very, very rich. Playing the victim card all the time doesn't really help. Average people in the society don't really see this as, come on, cupcake? Or was what was it? Just making a big deal out of it? That's my own personal opinion. I, I didn't, I don't think there is anything, uh, nothing to see here. Just, you know, someone being entitled. That's my personal opinion. What do you think? He appears to double down in this new video. There seems to be a lot of talk about the dessert I requested for my birthday show. I never mentioned the name of the bakery or the location. It does seem a, a little odd that when we called a few weeks before my birthday. You sure gave a hint. We all saw the video. You gave a hint and everyone could figure that out. And we were told they couldn't process the order for my birthday because of an equipment failure. But somehow they were able to accept an order of a different 48 of the same dessert when somebody else called without using my name. But it's all okay, y'all, because I enjoyed my delicious dessert and I had a happy, sweet- America is having so much problems and Whoopi is here crying over a dessert for her birthday. Well, we sure need uh, some of those desserts back in Africa. I'm not an American, so you know, I always say that in every video I make. So looking at uh, the Af African perspective of things going on in America, I don't think our rigs going through the Mexico border to come live there. Okay, so uh, Wakanda is good for me. Clean up on aisle six to me. Joining us now is Staten Island Borough President Vito Vasella. Thank you very much for being here. We saw you at that news conference. I mean, you lit the crowd up. You have people lining up outside the bakery because they feel bad for what's happened to this, this institution, the Staten Island institution. Welcome to you. Did that clear anything up, that video with Whoopi Goldberg there? Yes, yeah, sometimes bad things tend to an advantage. When I look at the whole situation, uh, the kind of support this bakery is receiving it is amazing a lot of people are lining up something they have never so the story here is this halterman the family is wonderful they're the salt of the earth uh, they've had a business for 146 yeah. years uh, not many people can say that they have an impeccable reputation uh, people love them and their business and then this this woman went on national television and basically misrepresented what happened and you know Jeez. to have a platform like that and disparage potentially arguably defame a business that has no recourse in the court of public opinion uh, and they were devastated and what we said we were going to stand up for those businesses and we're not going to take the abuse the the she may have had the bully pulpit but she came across as a bully if you ask me and Guess what? The bakery ran out of orders. There were so many customers flogging in to support them. Now they'll make, I think for the rest of the year, they'll make all the money this week. Yeah, they can take a holiday after one or two weeks. Thanks to Whoopi, Goldberg, you know, 
Oh, God. And the family, not being used to this, said, you know, what do we do? So the Staten Island community stood up and stood strong and stood up for the Holtman family, the Holtman Bakery. And I commend the Holtmans for just having the grace um, to, to take the high road. And the Staten Island community uh, stepping out, waiting online mm -hmm. hour mm -hmm. after hour mm -hmm. to say we support mm -hmm. Holtmans. But it could have been any small business. It could have been anybody who was attacked on the national airwaves for something they didn't do. You know, as, as, as a reporter, I step back from the story and I say, well, you know, could have something yeah. happened there that maybe we didn't see? Maybe there was somebody, I'm just, this is yeah. just me just asking sure. you based on the facts that you have at hand. Could there have been somebody behind the register who didn't like the idea that this was for Whoopi Goldberg and said, mm, not today? So the facts are the boiler that they had in place that they need to make the cakes was about 60 or 70 years old. They were planning on replacing it. They didn't know how long it would take to replace. So Jill Holtman actually did the right thing by telling the woman, uh, we can't commit to it. We would hate for you to have a birthday party and the boiler would still be down. So, you know, go someplace else. And then the boiler was fixed, probably in less time than it, than they anticipated, and then people could buy cakes again. She was not the only one that was declined. So they sent somebody else in there. After the fact. After, the, after it was fixed. Correct. And so she connects the dots and says, oh, they'll serve them without my name attached to it, but they wouldn't serve me. Yeah, and she wouldn't take, she wouldn't, you know, the old expression, she wouldn't accept the truth. And somehow it was this, perhaps a degree of self-absorption. All about that race, Everybody eh? thinks of politics every day. We just heard Jill, her and her workers are at work sometimes two or three o'clock in the morning to prepare every day. You think she really cares about politics? Her customer base or across the board, she wants to do well in business. My main concern was that this woman took to the national airwaves and sought to destroy a company she and, and didn't say the name of the company and, and, and i'm not i'm not defending yeah. her in any way but the election that we just had was a repudiation of the status quo whoopi Goldberg didn't get that she thought after the election trump winning Things were business as usual no people don't fall for things like these anymore so a uh, word of advice to the Democrat, I'll say, um, from an African. Just stop doing this. Even Africans, we see it. We see everything going on. You cannot keep on playing these cards. They don't work anymore. Let's see what John Stewart's got to say. I'm sure you'll love it. Maybe you take some advice from him. I even heard they want him to run against uh, J.D. Vance in 2028. Well, good luck with that. An overly regulated system that is no longer responsive or delivering for the needs of the people or their beloved behatted squirrels. Oh, R.I.P. Peanut. <laughs> Government is theoretically a constitutional system of checks and balances between equally powerful branches. But what government actually is, 